In this video, I want to show off you one of the most powerful non-visualization techniques that you can find when you study Neville Goddard's teachings. So with that, let's talk about how to apply it. And there are three simple steps that you need to follow to make this effective. So the first step is this. Predetermine what you want to hear. Be clear about it. Right. So first, before you even relax, before you even start to imagine and hear to a voice that you come up with, first of all, ask yourself, okay, what would my best friend say to me, would I have achieved my goal? What would a family member, what would a partner, right? What would someone that's close to me that would be excited for my achievement, what would they say to me if my desire is achieved? Step one is asking yourself, what do you want to hear, right? What is it that imaginatively you want to listen to that, that anchors you in a certain state? That's step one, super easy. Step two is you start to relax. Once you've predetermined that sentence, those words, you want to imaginatively start to hear what you came up with in step one, right? So you start to bring up this voice. You start to really listen to that voice. And that is step three, listen to what you want to hear until you hear it. Because that is what is going to happen is when you start to actually bring up this voice of, let's say your best friend, you start to listen to that. It starts to become more natural. You really devote yourself. You bath yourself in just hearing their voice. You don't need to see them. You don't even need to know where you are. You just focus on listening to their voice. At some point, you will actually feel like that this has been said to you, right? That your friends maybe stands next to you and just told you that thing, that you just actually heard it. That's why Neville said, listen. You listen imaginatively until you hear it until you're actually convinced that yes, you are hearing it. Yes, it is real. Yes, it has been said to you. And what that does, it creates this deep, subtle, out of the rational mind, inner conviction that it is actually real, that it is actually done. So that's why this is so powerful because you just listen to something to imply the wish is fulfilled. And to really explain this from Neville's angle, this is what he said. So I found some really amazing quotes that will help us to understand this technique, this approach even better. So Neville said this, recall your friend's voice. With this familiar voice established in your consciousness, aka in your inner world, in your imagination, imagine that you're actually hearing his voice and that he is telling you what he is or has that which you wanted him to be or to have. So don't be confused in this example. Neville is basically indicating, let's just say you want your friend to find a good job. You want your friend to find a relationship. Of course, you can also utilize this approach to manifest something for your friend. And now in your imagination, he tells you, you know what? I actually have right now this, or you know what? Uh, I, I found this amazing job, whatever it is. But of course, you can also use it to manifest something for you where your friend simply tells you, wow, that's amazing. Or how have you done that? Or cool, like tell me more about that or simply how your friend would speak. What would he say or she say to you? So impress upon your consciousness, your internal world, the fact that you actually heard him and that he told you what you wanted to hear. Feel the thrill of having heard, right? Don't just play this as like a mind movie. Actually feel as your friend would imaginatively be right next to you and you just hear him say those words that imply that your wish or his or her wish is fulfilled right now and right here. So when you sit down and predetermine what you want to hear and you listen until you hear it and you refuse to hear anything other than that, then you're using the one power in the world that awakens a man and you're using your lovely imagination. Right? You're not just taking for granted, you're not just taking what currently the facts of life present to you. No, you go imaginatively beyond that and you start to imagine something that is outside of the senses, right? In your senses world, your friend is not right now congratulating you on something. You, you can't hear your friend's voice or anyone that's close to you's voice. But imaginatively, right, this allows you to go beyond senses and to spiritually sense something that is not currently in front of you manifested right now, but that's still in existence because you can still hear this voice and those words. And then you start to actually feel into what that implies to you in that new state, in whatever you want to manifest. And I found out some points to make this even more effective because I have used this approach, this technique for many desires. I shared a lot of success stories on my channel on how I used this technique. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to choose to hear the words from a person whom you talk to very often. 
Because let's just say you have a friend that you only meet two times a year. Well, maybe you remember how he sounds, but if let's just say you see your parents very often, you see your best friend very often, you see a partner very often, um, and you hear them very often, then you know how they speak. It's very easy for you to bring up their thought pattern, their tone of voice, simply how they speak. And it will be very easy for you to bring that also up internally uh, while they're not actually physically in front of you. So in day-to-day life, when you listen to them, really become aware of the thought pattern, uh, sorry, of the sound pattern in their voice, right? So pay attention to when you speak to them, how do they speak? Which words do they emphasize? What What is their um, sound pattern? Because then it will also be easier for when you are at home, when you start to imagine them, what they, what they will sound like. And keep this scene as short as possible, right? So let's just say you want to manifest a car, random example. And you want to utilize this technique, this approach, which works for any desire. You don't need to hear, oh, you know, your best, my best friend, you know, would not say to me, oh, Nicholas, you know, it's really nice that you have this car and it's so cool and it has this color and it has so much horsepower and this and that. No, he would just say, dude, that's, that's awesome. Like how much horsepower does that have? Or that's honestly, dude, that's incredible. Like you are killing it. You know, you, you know how your friends speak to you. Don't be, don't be so, you know, basic and be like, you know, just use something that sounds good. No, use something that you actually think your friend would say to you. What would his or her reaction be? What would your family members, what would someone say to you actually that you can really hear that's easy for you to imagine, right? So that is how you can make it more efficient by not having this long five-minute scene where they tell you like a whole monologue of this and this and this and that. No, it's maybe just one word. It's maybe just one simple sentence in their sound pattern, in their voice that you can start to hear that implies to you that your desire is already achieved. And now I want to give you some examples of how I use that, of how members in my program used this exact approach. And just yesterday in my weekly question and answer call in my program, I talked with a member and he said that he was out in the city. He wanted to go to a very expensive restaurant and he told him, when he arrived there, they told him, okay, all tables are booked and he they, they have no capacity, they can't let him in. And he was like, okay, cool. And then as he, as he walked away, he internally basically started to imagine that they invited him, that they said, oh, come on, please come on in. We want, you, we want to have you here. Here's an amazing table. And we, we definitely don't want to uh, send you away and all of that. So he started to listen to that. He started to listen to that immediately after, again, immediately after externally, he was denied about something, but he didn't accept that. He didn't accept the 3D, right? He didn't accept that, that external no. So then imaginatively, he started to hear what he wanted to hear, that he can come into the restaurant, that now they have a table available. And then 10 minutes later, he walked around the block. He, he said he kind of forget. He came around and he came um, by next to the restaurant and actually the, the waiter walked across the street, pulled him towards him and said, the guy, we have, we have a table available, sorry for what happened, but we now can definitely let you in. So come on, we, we have something for you. And then he was able to go into that restaurant where 10 minutes prior, they told him no. So that's a nice use case in their life, right? I also did this when I talk with people, when I when someone said no to me, I was not triggered by that. I internally heard the opposite. And then five minutes later, 10 minutes, minutes later, sometimes a day later, actually what I wanted to hear played out externally too. Also, you can internally hear a congratulation that implies the fulfillment of your desire, right? So let's just say today, yesterday, suppose you got your desire, suppose it is now manifested. Okay, what would tomorrow, what would next week, your family, someone that's close to you, a friend of yours, a partner, your child, whomever it is, what would they now say to you? You don't need to see them. You don't need to be at a specific location. You can simply listen to their voice and listen to something that implies that now you have achieved your desire because that voice will be your anchor in your desired state. And, right, and what you can also do is you can also use this in a very good way to use the eavesdropping technique. I will link a video on this above right now where I also talked about the eavesdropping technique, which you can basically utilize to overhear two people or more people speak about you. So how would your, if you have two siblings, if you, your two parents, two friends of yours, right? How would they speak about you if you're not around, right? If you are in your desired state, if you have your desire and you can just listen to those two voices, to those three voices, how they have a conversation about you. So you, you don't need anything. 
right? You have it all already within you. The only thing that you need is to consciously utilize your imagination and start to hear what you want to hear. Listen until you hear it. You listen imaginatively until you actually felt, like Neville said, the thrill of it, until you actually felt that you heard it, and that's it, right? You then will therefore develop this sense of it's done, it's real, that was it, that was the satisfaction, that was you shifting instead of the wish fulfilled, and then that can be reflected back to you externally. I use this for many desires. Again, you find um, a lot of them. If you go through my channel, there are many videos where I shared my successes. If it's apartment, business success, health, uh, relationships, people, it doesn't matter. For all life areas, you can use that. It's super easy. You don't need to visualize. You don't need anything. The only thing you need is to consciously apply what you have always with you, which is your power, which is your imagination, which is tuning into something that's not currently manifested. If you need any help with that, feel free to check out the two resources that I have in the in the video description and also in the pinned comments. First is my free masterclass, where I teach you step by step on how to shift into the desired version of yourself that already has his or her desires. And also I show you some mistakes, I show you the three keys that I observe people have in, in common that successfully manifest their goals. And if at some point you say that that resonates with you, you want to learn how to practically in implement this technique and other techniques in your life, you want to master Neville's teachings, you want to master the law of assumption, you have certain desires that you would like my help on, you want a private community, you want a proven step-by-step -step system, then I invite you to apply for a free 45-minute consultation call with me or someone from my team and which is going to ask you some questions, find out who you are, what you want, if we can serve you, if we can help you. And if yes, then we're going to explain you the next steps on how to enroll in our program. That's the second link in the video description and pinned comments. So uh, just book a call. It's laid back. It's non-binding. You have nothing to lose. And that's it for this video. Listen until you hear it. Talk to you soon, guys.